Hi, this is Swati Sela from the softwaretestinghelp.com team and in this segment we're going to talk about system testing. System testing is a vast area of our testing engagement which encompasses a lot of things. Now we all know that in the sequence of testing that happens over an application irrespective of whether it is done by the developer or a tester, the first uh, stage of testing that every application undergoes is the unit testing followed by the integration testing and once the application is integrated that means all its constituent parts are combined to form a completely working model of your uh, software then we would go for system testing. So when an application reaches the system testing phase it is almost complete agreed that it might still have errors and you know uh, minor corrections but for the most part the application is complete in the sense that this would be a product exactly um, this product would start to resemble exactly the, the final product that the user would see so um, this is almost like you know final like right so at the stage of system testing the very first that thing that we need to learn about is that it is a black box sort of a testing which means we provide an input to the application and this application for all intents and purposes for us is a black box which means we are not worried about how it's designed we are not worried about how it's coded we are not worried about you know how many lines of code exists or you know what kind of functions are in place none of that is matters to us are we able to provide the input in a logical, you know, in a logic making sense or are we, be, are we able to interact with the application correctly, easily and at the end of it, is this application providing you with a reliable, correct, um, quick output or not are the considerations when you are going for black box testing. So system testing falls under the black box category. Now system testing, um, there is a, usually a sort of, you know, uh, a confusion factor whether we are only going to concentrate on the functional testing during this stage or what are we going to do. Now system testing for the most part is about checking the um, you know um, the functional part of your testing again that's that's not just all but most of it because for one functionality is very very important correct when the application is supposed to behave the way it should behave so for one we are going to perform the functional testing. So this is the majority, most of the uh, part of our system press testing phase is spent on this. Now in addition to this functional testing, we might also be um, testing the system for its performance or for the security uh, related uh, concerns and you know um, security related requirements or usability related requirements or for accessibility related requirements that is uh, compliance with the WWW standards. So system testing is the phase where all the tests that you would subject the final system to that means uh, how if there's anything that you want your final product to measure up to all that would be performed in the system testing phase because this is the phase of your um, product development where you would have your uh, testing software look exactly the way the software is going to be presented to the user. So system testing is not just about um, you know the usual QA phase where we just you know go ahead and check the application make sure if it's working fine or not. We're going to take into consideration performance, security, usability, accessibility and any other form of testing that would make sense and that you would want to evaluate whether the final product you know uh, fares well to or not. So uh, as soon as the system testing is done, so we all know that the subsequent phase is UAT. System testing is black box in nature. System testing is performed by testers for the most part. Uh, again, these testers might again be, you know, uh, categorized depending on their special speciality. For example, functional testing can be carried out by, you know, um, functional testers or, you know, uh, the QA regular testers. Performance testing is again performed by specialized, uh, you know, uh, load testers or performance testers. So similarly, 
each of these uh, specialized form of testing require a specialized form of personnel to be able to perform them. Um, so some sort of technical expertise is required, but all in all, these are performed by testers, sometimes in collaboration with the development team and uh, the design team because they might provide useful insights on how this application works. And the result of system testing is definitely bugs or information that will point out to areas that uh, have to be improved in your uh, final system. So the input for system testing is um, the application that is uh, almost complete and resembling the final product. I mean, sure, it's not tested yet, but it, it has a close resemblance to how the product will be presented to for the final audience. Who performs this? Typically testers, and depending on the area of testing that you're performing, you would need specialized uh, people. When this happens is after the unit and integration testing is done, the next phase is the system testing phase. And um, at the end of it, the results of the system testing phase are either defects that have to be corrected on, so basically the shortfalls of the application, and if there are areas of improvement that are taken care of, and uh, sometimes in cases like usability testing, the end of system testing is basically uh, a set of data, a collection of you know, uh, data that is collected during the testing that will provide useful insights on how the system can be improved. So um, that's basically system testing. Thank you.